we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no Welcome back to my channel. My name is Komoza Ramano. For those of you who don't know me, if you're new here, hi, welcome. Do click that subscribe button at down below to become a part of this family. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continuous support. I really do appreciate it, you guys. I'm starting this vlog by whispering because the baby is sleeping right over here. She's not feeling too well, so she doesn't even want to sleep in the nursery. So I just let her sleep here. She is she's got a bit of a cold, and yeah, she's struggling to eat, to feed, and all of this stuff anyway i thought i should just come here and let you guys know that i'm starting the vlog i'm not going to be vlogging much at the moment but i just wanted to open this vlog while i still remember so i guess i want to catch you guys um when i am doing something I'm 
really convinced that beanies don't look good on me. Yeah, they literally don't look good on me. I look like a boy. I'm going to build this warehouse right now to go look for some screws, drill bits, and um, those things that go in the wall to like secure the screw. I don't know what they're called. I actually have it here. He gave me a sample that. Um, that's what came out from our previous door so I'm going to look for those and then he's also gonna mount our mirror and those two side lamps that I showed you guys from Amazon in like um, two previous vlogs I think so yeah I'm super excited for that and also there is this um, well our stairs are mounted to like the concrete in the like the slab of our upstairs area so um, those guys that were putting the stairs in are not good at like plastering work and um, fixing up like any imperfections so um, there's literally like a hole left over there so I asked him to also fill that out for us he's gonna come tomorrow and then after that we can just paint it afresh and also refresh the door area because obviously the tiles are gone the wooden floors we need to get the guys to come and like extend the wooden floor so that so that there's no gap i think i'm gonna call those guys today to come and have a look and maybe help us and what else i'm just super excited that now our house is coming together well it's always coming together i always say this but like all these little things make a huge difference and they make me so happy like making my house a home just makes me super super happy so yeah i'm gonna show you that um when we get back he's obviously gonna screw the door to the floor like to the concrete in the floor and up there as well as the sides which i think you guys are not really gonna be able to see that because it's like the little details the door's already in i did show you but like it just needs to be reinforced and made strong and i also need some silicone and then yeah i guess i'm gonna see you guys when we get home so i can show you all of these things that i'm talking about it's better if you guys see it and me talking about it because it gets boring well i know if i were to watch my vlog and i'm talking so much i'd get bored anyway guys let me go to builders warehouse i'll see you guys when we get home guys i don't know how but it totally slipped my mind to show you this entrance area yesterday because um i ended up having to clean the dust to clean the mirrors to make sure that the door doesn't have like stains and all of that so i didn't show you that because of that reason i got so busy and i was just lazy to be honest so yeah it's later on in the evening um it's a thursday and i thought let me just show you so yeah let me just show you what this area looks like since the door has been installed as well as our mirror has been like sort of mounted to the wall and let me just show you so this is the first area you guys that plant was looking sick yesterday but i'm glad it's okay now the mirror still has some dust like we've been dealing with a lot of dust so the mirror will be um cleaned once we are done with that like there's just so much work to do in this area and also i'll show you i'll come back down there um we need to install the chandelier so that's gonna cause a lot of dust again here it is you guys will have to see it once it's up so i don't see the need to like clean thoroughly since um we're gonna install that as well but anyway you guys the plant looks good today because i watered it like 
about a million times for it to finally look like that. And then we did add some wall sconces. They also need to be cleaned. They are a bit of a mess, but like, I'm sure you guys can see the door even. Anyway, we're gonna get to that. The mirror's also sort of like mounted. We just use the screws that were provided and just basically balance it so that it doesn't fall off. Can you see the dust over there? Anyway, I love that view of the door. From over here, it is lovely. Anyway, you guys, this is the door, but I'm gonna show you the imperfections that we still need to fix. This is what the door looks like from the inside. I don't think I'm gonna go on the outside, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks so perfect, I love it. The wooden floor guys have to come tomorrow to fill that gap for us and replace most of these um, boards because they don't reach the end of the door. So they have to extend them by removing these and adding new ones, so. Yeah, that's the thing. And another one is that the door that we previously had was so far back. So we asked them to push this one out a bit. So now there's those imperfections. We also didn't remove the tape because we also have to apply some silicone once this has been filled nicely and repainted. Luckily, it's not like a full wall. So it's just here. We're going to just paint this border um, above and on this side where I'm standing. So yeah guys that's pretty much it we're still gonna fix that and on the outside we need um and on the outside we need towels as well let me see if i can see it from here yeah you guys can sort of like see we also haven't cleaned outside but yeah the tiler is coming tomorrow the wooden floor guys are coming tomorrow as well and then the chandelier guy is also coming tomorrow because he delayed us but i think it's really gonna look good once that is done and the guy for the tv stand up there as well as the bar He's just delaying us like one thing about samunda he will delay us but anyway his job is really good so we will wait so yeah guys that's what it looks like and that's just me i love this view i love this view so much can you see how it looks it looks amazing you guys we just need to fix those um imperfections on that wall over there the borders of the door but otherwise everything is good and i just want to show you these the men that were actually installing those two lights were asking me what's going to happen because there's no power there and I told them that I've got like lamps that are rechargeable and they were so confused but you won't see it. It's going to be a bit dark because it's not um, during the night but yeah I just want to show you. See it's on but you're not going to see it too well. So that's the new hack that I have when I want to hang like electrical sconces but i don't have like power for them that's what i'm gonna do from now on and i ordered some new lights from amazon which are gonna be much brighter than this so yeah thought i should just show you that so you guys um please don't mind the bed i'm in here because i want to make it i filmed this packet in here so long ago like when we got back from Joburg, and i didn't really unpack it like i threw all my orders in here so I'm gonna take them out so I can pack everything where it's supposed to go. Then I can look at it. So I also put my Shein order in here. It's not all of it, but I don't think I'm gonna go unpack the clothing items that I bought just so I can show you. But I'll show you what I basically need to unpack, you know. So the first thing that we got here are these candle accessories. I feel like they are they decorate quite nicely and also they are functional like of course they are functional for my candles i want to use it in my bedroom i just have the baby over there hey hello and she is talking a lot so yeah i bought these three accessories on shein i love them i love that they are gold i'm gonna put them in my bedroom because i've always needed them so i thought you know what i'm gonna buy them on shein because they are cheap and take a lot has these exact ones but like for a uh, but for an arm and a leg, so I thought I'm not going to do that. I'm going to buy them on Shein when I make my next order. I also bought some makeup brushes and yeah. And I bought more of these. I bought like 10 packets. So that's about 50 of them. When I put them in my kitchen, I feel like these flowers, like they are four flowers, but they look so realistic. And I really love these tulips. I'm starting to have like faux flowers in the whole house and i used to think it looks so tacky but i think i'm forgiving myself because the ones that i buy usually look real but like it's expensive to buy flowers every week you guys to be honest it's very expensive so i prefer having these and then when the hub buys me flowers or when i go to the shop and i buy myself flowers then i can pick an area where i want fresh flowers 
but um, when that doesn't happen I prefer these they look so realistic let me just and of course they have to be pink I've got orange ones I've got two packs of white ones and now I've got pink I think I might just buy red yeah this is what they look like can you see how real they look I think they look pretty awesome like they're very nice I bought five packets of that so it makes them 10 packets and there's five in each so it means I've got 50 let me open all of them and then show you like as a bunch so guys um, I'm done unboxing them well unwrapping them this is what they look like see I told you guys they look so real I love them I'm gonna put them in the kitchen because that's the only place that doesn't have flowers or color like that coffee station corner so that's where I'm gonna put them so then let me make the bed oh I forgot. hello oh when I went to Sanson this is what I got like I got a country road um, tea towel because I feel like I can never have enough of those I also bought a shirt I bought a shirt and a skirt this is a shirt that I bought. I love it. Like the first day I went to Zara, I saw it, but I didn't take it and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Like it gives elegant lady. I love that it's cream, like a creamish beige color and black. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's sort of like a wrap around shirt. You guys will see it once I wear it. And then this is just how the sleeves look. It's like, it's got a collar and it is a satin shirt. And then, the last piece from Zara, I actually got a skirt that I've been eyeing online, but I finally... Hello! Oh, she can make a noise. And then when I went into store, I found it, and I thought, you know what? Rather just buy it. It's got like a slit there, and like a knot kind of thing going on. This with a black polo neck, and um, a blazer. I think it would look really nice. And trusty and just like simple... Like, it's like a look where you're not doing too much, but, like, you look like you've done a lot. And even with this shirt, it could be, like, a whole look with some beige um, strappy heels or black strappy heels. So, yeah, I'm going to go pack these. But first, let me just make the bed. Also, I just want to... I just want to take this blanket and go put it in the washing machine and then the helper can just hang it outside. I got a new helper by the way. I don't know if I told you guys. And yeah, uh, she's good but it's still a bit too early to tell but like I'm liking her so far. As well as the kids. So yeah, I asked her to remove the bedding in here so she did that but I want this blanket to go into the wash so that if we do have other visitors then she should if we do have other visitors then they'll find like a clean blanket you guys how embarrassing i need to get a new polo neck like but i wasn't going anywhere today like anywhere serious so that's why i wore it but i don't like it anymore because of this tear and i don't believe in sewing things back together i feel like once they've done this it's the end of it anyway let's make this bed you guys and then i can just go and chill and relax and then i guess i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow i also just need to edit a vlog so that it's ready by sunday so yeah i'm gonna make the bed now put this blanket in the wash and i guess i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow yeah let's make this bed i'm so lazy to be honest but i have to do what i have to do song on repeat cause you seem to forget how much you are hurting me do what's right you say you will but then you don't you just don't you don't care cause you don't take me seriously what's there to repair if you don't
So you guys, I am finally done making the bed, as you can see over there, but this bedroom really stresses me out a lot, you guys. First of all, I had an inner that I was using in my bedroom that was, um, was it microfiber? Yeah, those microfiber ones from Mr. Price. It's the one that I was using in the other house when I started being able to sort of like afford um, like good inners, but it it was good then but now I feel like I should get like a feather in a like I love a nice and bulky bed so I'm definitely gonna do that but I did explain I'm gonna buy myself one because even the one that I sleep with is not made of feather but I feel like my savings like my home improvement savings are enough for me to actually get that um, feather filled um, duvet inner so i'm gonna buy that um i saw it at at home it was quite pricey but i think i'm just gonna splurge guys because it's a forever thing like these ones here can you see how many times i've been buying them because this one is from my bedroom i moved it to here but now it's so flat and flimsy that i feel like i need a new one and the one in my bedroom already i have layered it with the one that i used to use that we used to use like as students with the hub so i feel like i'm gonna buy myself a feather one i'm gonna buy one first and then Put it in my bedroom and the ones that are there i'm gonna layer them up in here put three in there so that it gives me that bulky look so i feel i'm no longer because if i had bought because this is like a thousand two hundred if i'm not mistaken as well as the one in my bedroom so if i had mixed that up like if i had put that money together and added the exact same money on top of it i could have gotten like a good quality feather in there so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy one um, put it in my bedroom take those ones bring them here and then i'm gonna buy another one for this bedroom and my pillows, I also don't like them. And the sheets. And yeah, even this bedding is new, ne? but it is polyester and I regret buying it. So um, I don't want my visitors to sleep. Like I'm just going to leave it here because it makes the room look good. Even when I go past, then it still looks good to me. It makes me happy. But before we get visitors, I think I should get like um, good quality cotton or European um, bedding because i'm not too happy about this one but for now there's nothing we can do we'll keep it that way we all start somewhere guys one day i'm gonna have like everything that is good quality that is luxurious but for now we'll just keep it at that for now i'm just happy that my bed looks good like it looks good and i also need to buy that um bed that i saw from at home as well as a what's this this thing that goes to the end of the bed and then all of these will go to the helper's room so she'll also have like a room that looks nice she has a headboard but it's one that we were using at race it's not so nice it was like a diy kind of thing and yeah so that's what's going to happen we also need to buy the helper a new bed but i'm not going to do that now i need to prior i need to prioritize my bed as well what i can do is get this one cleaned and like when we get another one that's going to be for like in here the guest bedroom one get this one nice and cleaned and take it to the helper's room get the one in the helper's room throw it out and then once i get a really good bed for my bed then i can give it a nice deep clean put it in the helper's room and get rid of this one as well it's still good quality guys this is like a very good bed when the hub started working he bought this bed and it was like really expensive for like someone who started working i was super proud of him so yeah that's it guys i'm gonna go that side chill with the chill with the kids and the hub and i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully we will be showing hopefully i'll be showing you guys home updates as in the chandelier the tiling in the front of the door and the wooden floors on this end and i think i'm going to be finally done with um, the downstairs um, entertaining area we'll then need to do upstairs and oh the only thing that will be short in the downstairs area will be the the mirror but i'm still waiting zamunda keeps us waiting guys he said he's also going to bring oh tomorrow he said he's also going to bring um the stuff the material so we'll see as well as the mirror so we'll see tomorrow but i will vlog of course see you guys um tomorrow san bonani nishani out there you guys don't deserve my good voice <laughs> 
I'm just kidding guys. Um, I just went to hire a scaffold because we are installing the chandelier today and you guys know like any home updates make me super happy and that is one thing that I love 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 recording. So finally my entryway is going to look good. Um, like it's going to be complete well except for the wooden floor that's like close to the door the one that's ruined because of installing a new door but the guys said they'll try squeeze me in today so the guy is building the scaffold that side um i think i'm gonna go that side so i can just record that for you guys so you can see the whole process what is content without me recording like every single thing so yeah let's go that side guys i was just i was just checking in with you guys and i'm also really hungry so i'm gonna see what i can order from woolies dash guys we finally have woolies dash i'm super excited because that's the favorite that's my favorite store to shop when i don't know what i'm gonna eat so yeah i'm gonna also buy some stuff on woolies dash and make some breakfast it's 11 o'clock so i'm not gonna really call it breakfast anymore because it's so late and i still need to shower i haven't showered guys i've been a hobo in this vlog like literally i don't bath i am a mess i don't comb my hair at least today i was able to comb my hair and i bath very late but i'm gonna try that um i'm gonna try just leave the camera that side make some food while they do all of that so i'm not gonna record that and maybe take a shower quickly while they also install the chandelier so i guess i'm gonna see you guys once i'm done bathing but for now you guys will be seeing the installation and all of that good stuff so let's go it is finally in i'm super happy we just need to clean because this house is a mess as you can see there's so much dirt and junk everywhere there's no order in here the kids are making a noise anyway and then we got this fixed we just have this board here so it can support it but it is fixed i'll show you when there's lights it's just outside that's not fixed so guys this is what it looks like um in the night i wish i could show you from outside but it's so cold so i'm definitely not going there but yeah i think it looks nice one day we'll get a huge one 
but I really love this one. Like I'm not complaining, but I do know that a huge one would look super nice because there's ample, because there's enough space. Like there's literally more than enough space.